I told you people that I have a girlfriend and none of you believed me and thought she was a figment of my imagination? Well, she's here with me today, so all you single people can watch this video with tears in your eyes because you're lonely. Especially the guy editing this video. I'm, I'm actually sad for him. You better not even think about sex. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. And don't even look at my booty. Right, right, no booty lick. Okay then, let me get into it. Talent is a wonderful thing. Being supremely gifted at something without trying too hard sounds awesome. Unlike me who has to do these voiceovers a thousand times before I get it right, there have been some unbelievably talented footballers to grace the South African football field. This talent, though, has not been enough to carry them to the top tiers of the football world. These darlings of football, who are heaped with praise at the start of their careers, often fizzle out without reaching their full potential. Yeah, now I know most of you are thinking my girlfriend is white, but she's she's actually black. I, I just don't know what's up with this weird accent. What's wrong? These are for you. They're, they're Arabian roses. Anyway, they say talent is only the start of the journey, and the rest of it is hard work. We're about to list five South African talents who had the potential, but could never quite put in the hard work required to reach the level their talent promised. Number five, Mabudi Kenyeza. If you Google problem South African footballers, and his name isn't the first that pops up, then you're probably using Google the right way. Because we tried this, and his name wasn't first. Everything in Mabudi's early years pointed towards him becoming a top striker. But numerous occasions of going AWOL and a number of disciplinary issues resulted in him not quite reaching his full potential. He ended up becoming a footballing <laughs> like for over eight clubs in the PSL. Number four, can you say this you watch her? In 2004, Kanyiseni Siwatha became the youngest ever player to score a goal in the PSL when he netted against Dynamos at 15 years, 174 days old. The Ajax starlet was clearly destined for superstardom, but years of substance abuse and a love for parties rendered his potential void. Just a couple of seasons ago, Siwatha and Mark Mayambela were released from Mpumalanga Black Aces for allegedly showing up to train Speaking of Mark Mayambela, number three is, well, Mark Mayambela. What can we say about Mark Mayambela that we haven't said before? He's a talented footballer who makes terrible decisions. From allegedly showing up to training sessions intoxicated to being panned by Stuart Baxter for his lack of discipline. Mayambela sure has come a long way since his days as an Orlando Pirates midfielder. And by a long way, we mean down. He's, he's, he's gone down. Number 2, Tandani Jumayelo. There is a line in Frank Ocean's Novocaine where he talks about having cocaine for breakfast and we think this has to be his favorite song because he recently received a 4 year ban for testing positive for cocaine. Oh no wait, wait, we, we need to say that sentence again but this time with the word alleged in it because apparently that is the difference between saying anything you want to say and getting sued. So yeah, Njomayelo recently allegedly received a four-year ban, allegedly from Safa, for allegedly testing positive, allegedly for cocaine. But if we're being honest, he really isn't a disappointing talent. Because until this alleged cocaine thing, he was most famous for being Bulana's boyfriend when that triple fire flame nude lead. Damn, that was a hot movie. It's not you, with the cocaine! Number one, Jabupule Masham. Jabupule is the godfather of promising talent, which fails to live up to its full potential because of Igna's time and narcotics. Pule has had more incidents of going AWOL than everyone on this list combined. And that's saying something. His nickname is Mwanawa Twin. And when you think about it, it's quite the apt nickname. Although we absolutely adore him, but not as much as he adores a black label Ngutu on a hot summer's day, 
It's hard to argue that his career didn't reach the heights it could have due to his fun-loving ways. And that's our list. Did we disappoint you by leaving out any disappointing talents? Let us know who we missed out on. Don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our channel. You can also visit ibsoccer.tv for more awesome content. Yes, sir. So none of you are subscribing. We ride together. We die together. Bad boys for life.